everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a kind of gift tag mini album, but it's actually already done because it's that easy to make that I'm just going to show you how to make the, the last one and yeah, then you just decorate and do whatever you want with it. So, so this one I have already done all my photos. So this is full of photos and you can see there. So this is when I visited the UK. I need to check back on the date. I think it was 2015 when I was living abroad and I came home and my mum does these little things like she's done a balloon, welcome home. And then she'd done a little kind of, um, like a basket on my bed full of like conditioner and face wipes and just little things for my stay. She made me a little handmade card and then she's got, <laughs> well, I say she, my dad was there as well. Welcome home, and then we went out for a walk. So I was extremely jet lagged because I'd flown back from Asia and I was desperately needing to stay awake. <laughs> and um, this was early in the morning that I'd arrived. So we went, went out straight away, went for a nice walk along the beach. Um, we had a pasty. So I've made this little pop out piece here with the pasty and then I'm gonna write a little bit there. And this is all using the punch, which is this one, which I'll show you. More pictures there of the wonderful scenery, me and my glamorous hat. And um, that was a day out that me and my dad had. So it was like a daddy daughter day and it's all, home it's this is all where I live so I think sometimes we don't maybe scrapbook so much about actually where we live and what's on our doorsteps it's always when we go on holiday so here's a cream tea yes I lay the jam down and then the um the cream and so on so I'm just going to go I'm not going to show you every single one there then we went into Easter because it was I came back for Easter so there's one of me and my sister with uh, Easter eggs and bunny hats on. So you kind of get the gist. You can do as many pages as you want. So this one, I think I've got, it'd be 18 altogether once I do the front. So I've also done this little piece here, which says Devon, but I'm also gonna do my cover. I've got the big ring here, which I'll tell you through. I'm not sure about this bit of ribbon. And then I've got these bits here to decorate. Now the papers I've used are these beautiful lakeside blooms. This is by the paper tree. So you've got the actual paper pad and then this is the essentials paper pad. So it's all the plain kind of pieces. So I'm gonna do one of the flip out pages and I'm gonna do the top page, which will be the same as all the others. So this is the punch. It's a really, really, I love it. It's really useful. It uh, does two and a half, two and one and a half. There are two styles. This is the hunky dory one. So you've got this one here which I, I th and then there was more of a decorative edge. Again, I'll link both of them below, but it's it's great for speed, but I wanted to just kind of, you know, show you, you don't just have to make gift tags with it. You can make things like this, little mini albums. So what I've done is that whole mini album is using the largest tag, so it's the two and a half inch. So I'm just going to, because I'm going to do my cover. So I'm going to pull out the, there was one that I really like, yeah, this one here. So I'm going to grab, this one here, because they're my scraps, I've only got a few scraps, because I use them for something else. So what I do find with the punch is you want to just cut just slightly, just a smidge under the two and a half, because it has to sit within the two and a half section. So it's just literally a smidge, it's like a sixteenth of an inch, so I'm just cutting just shy there. Okay, so that's, this is going to be for the cover. Now for doing one of the, no actually I'll just stick with that for the minute, then I've done mine by four inches. So you can get two out of an, you know, one strip from an eight by eight pad because yeah, that's the eight by eight. And then because it's just under two and a half, you can get another, yeah, two more out of this. You can get six altogether from one sheet. So I was trying to do quick maths there. Okay, so then you just pop it in the punch and it will sit within, you have, you can see here, you've got your two and a half, your two and the one and a half. So you just sit it in, it sits perfectly within that two and a half and punch, okay? And it will just, the excess will come out the bottom. Now I want to do on the back of this, I wanna do a plain print. So that's where I'm gonna use the essentials. And I think I'm gonna do this greeny color. Oh, everything's come apart. I hate all this gum on the end anyway, I usually pull it off. So again, I'm gonna cut just a smidge under two and a half. And again by four, you can do longer. You don't have to do them by four. And then I'm just gonna slide that one in again. And this is what I do for every page because I double it up. So there's the two, how they look. And then I'm gonna stick one over the other because they will marry up perfectly. 
and then that is a page but this is also going to be my front I haven't used like any kind of construction board gray boards you know anything stronger because I just didn't feel it needed it once I add the glue to this that stiffens it up a little bit anyway so yeah that is going to be the front and then I'm going to have this piece here which says the happy life because I love where I live and I'm just going to sit that probably down here somewhere and then I've got some flowers these are prima flowers I've had them for a while and I keep getting around to using them I got these from Thompson's craft supplies so I'll link those below but I quite like that quite simple one actually so I may end up using that one so I'm just going to stick the two of these together now if you want to add ribbons and pieces coming out you might want to have like a pom-pom trim then put that between these two before you stick them together Okay, so now that's that one done. So I'm just going to open up my ring here. I'll tell you the measurement of this one. I think two, I think. Oh no, two. Yeah, no, it is. It's the two diameter, two inch diameter. So it's not the bigger, bigger ones that I've got because I do have bigger. But um, you can go smaller. And if you don't have rings, you can just put some ribbon through and tie it and it'll still look nice. These are also great for swatching. So if you swatch out lots of colours, you can do them like this as well. Okay, so I've got a bit of scrap here for that drop down page, that kind of flip page. So you want to cut this again to just under the two and a half. And then you want it to be four, five, six and seven, no, six and three eighths of an inch. Because it's going to fold up. So six and three, sorry, six and three quarters, not three eighths. So the three quarters is there. Okay. And then you want to score at four. Okay. I'll probably add some more of these pages. I'm not entirely sure. This is a piece of scrap um, photo um photo paper because it's got a shine on it but that's fine okay then you're going to fold it up so you'll have the shorter side pop this in actually i'll take that piece out for the minute just slide it right up you'll feel when it gets to the top and then you'll get that piece and then when you fold that up you'll get a nice little flap and then that's another one to go in. So for this one then, you just want to decide what you want to do for your kind of mats. So I'm going to again, I'm trying to use the scrap, you know, where I can. So I'm just going to use a pencil for this one because um, I don't have much of a border, just a little white border. So, do... so this is just under two and three eighths because obviously it was just under the two and a half. So it's, the measurements are slightly different, but it doesn't matter if you haven't got the tag punch. You can use dies, you can cut it yourself. These are easy to, to do, you know, just with scissors. And you can, you know, cut two little kind of angled corners there just to give it a, a gift tag look. It's very easy to do with limited supplies. So that's one of the mats, and then I'll do that same size again. One there, one there, and one on the back, so it's four little kind of mats and four photos so all my photos here are two by two ish some of them are slightly like two and a quarter I did some of them are slightly I did vary them depending on obviously the, the way the photo itself looked um, but I've even got the car there that was the higher car I picked up and the reason I've put it in there is because within four hours of getting it I reversed it into a pillar and really wrecked it but fortunately my cousin <laughs> Um, has a very good position with the uh, hire company and um, yeah I didn't have to pay for anything so I was so so lucky but um, couldn't believe it and I had it for three weeks so yeah had to drive around with it not looking very good. Okay, so that's another little flip down. So I'm going to pop that, actually, I'm going to put that near where that car picture is because it's a funny little story to kind of tell. So I'm going to pop that around the back here. And that's the nice thing, you can open it up, you know, wherever and kind of pop them in. So I've got two little flip down there, but once I go to fill it out and kind of go through them a bit more, then I can write, like I might do a little one to just talk about the kind of day with me and dad. I've got one there for like the Easter. Me and mum had a day out in there as well. And then that's just kind of a meal that we had towards the end of my stay. So, okay, then I have that little, the happy life, which I just thought was quite appropriate. So I'm gonna just stick this down. It did have 
sticky on it, but they're never that sticky, so I took it off. This is from a Paige Evans, I think it's the Whimsical collection. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that one in there. And it, the colours work perfectly with this paper pad. So I'm going to bring it up. Do I want it right up? No, I'm going to keep it down low because I'm going to add the flower. So it's that one there. Okay, I'm actually going to add those three flowers and not that one because I quite like those three together. So, again, I'm sure these will still be available. So over on Thompson's Craft Supply, Louise has got a lot of Prima flowers. So um, I'm sure if there's these ones aren't there, you'll be able to get something equally as nice because they are. You can spot a Prima flower. <laughs> and then let's just pop that one just kind of over the top there. Okay, and now I'm going to, let me just bring that up a little bit further. Yeah, if I just bring it up there, you can see I've got the little Devon tag, which I really like. Those flowers, the happy life. And now what I'm going to do is just go through and do some journaling. I'm going to sort this out because I don't want it like that. I might just do a nice bow, we'll see. And then I'll show you the kind of end result. Okay, so I showed you all this. I decided to go for the bow. I, I love that ribbon. It's a velvet ribbon. It just matches so well. So I haven't done masses, but just to give you an idea. So I've done this one here on this page. It just says choose happy. And again, I've used the Posca pen there to do the faux stitching. I've got a little puffy sticker there from one of my thicker sets. I've got a little butterfly there. Let's show you some of the ones where I've actually... I haven't done the journaling. I'm going to do that off camera because that is my private stuff. There you go, I like that one. Blue skies, big smiles. Um, I've just put like a little, these are from a Rosie Studio set that I've got and they're little um, like bulldog clips. So it looks like I've pinned the picture on there. Um, what else we got? I've done that one. What oh, did I do that one? I heart this, that was us all eating. This one here, I've just done this little tag that through there there we go so it's captured and it's obviously for that picture there or for any of them really another little paper clip thing there this one I like I've got a little handbag just hanging there again a lot of these are Rosie's studio then I've got their story <laughs> because yeah there is and then that's where I'm gonna write something I've got a puffy sticker there and then again I'm gonna put a photo or something little butterfly and then at the end here it says laughing all day long which we do we laugh a lot which is always good and then I've got a couple free there because there are maybe three or four other photos that I could probably print off still from that time there but yeah that's that's it really I have also got this which I was going to I like this one here home is where your heart is and I'm thinking whether I could tag that but because that's there I think you're going to see it, so I just want to see if there's any other ones. No, I am going to use that one, but I've got a little idea. I'm going to cut it as close to the top as possible. And then kind of come up here. That never stop dreaming, I probably wouldn't use that, so I'm not too worried about cutting that one away there. Okay, then I'm going to trim this down to, again, just under two and a half. Oh my god, that literally... That is just under two and a half. And then it's going to be shorter than the four. That's fine. What I'm going to do is add, add like the, the top to it. So, again, cut this down. This is some scrap. So the same amount. And then I'm going to do it by one and a half. Do two of those. Then I'm going to stick... I've got the smallest amount to use, but I think I can make it work. I really want it to just be like a little page. I'm going to use some of my double-sided tape and just run a very, very thin strip along both parts. Take this off. And then I'm going to stick... One on that, and then I'm going to add some glue. I hope this works, I don't know, it should do. And then stick this piece over the top. And then I need to trim it down, so now that is four inches, the same as that, and then there's two layers, so I don't know if this is going to punch through. I might 
have to end up just doing a hole punch. I'm hoping it will. I'm going to literally add some brute force through this. So I'm going to slide it in. This could all wreck, but at least I'm doing a test for you to all see. Well, it went through. Oh, perfect. It's worked. So there you go. Just made a little tag. So now I can have that home is where your heart is. I'm going to have it towards the end with that picture there because that is a picture of the local church. It's where my sister got married and we go to the pub nearby and that's where we had our dinner. So yeah, home is where the heart is. That's the last one. So there you go. That's just a really quick way to show you a nice little mini album idea. Again, you don't need the punch. The punch does make it much, much quicker. And like I said, there are two styles designs in that one, I think. I don't think this is the decorative one. I think this is the plain one. And then the other one is more of a decorative style. But um, hopefully I've just given you some ideas on how to decorate. You can add as many pages as you want. You don't have to use it as a mini album. You can have this, like I said, for swatches. There's, you know, yeah, it's entirely up to you. I just thought this was really sweet. And as you know, I am slowly, you know, making more and more albums so that I can put a lot of photos in because I've got a lot of traveling photos that I need to work through. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like it. All the links to everything I've used today will be shared in the description box below. If you have liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.